Stanford University. Today we're instrumenting a 1960 Porsche Avarth Carrera. We have a whole slew of instruments that we're attaching to the car. We have a couple of GPS antennas and a radio link, which allow us to tell its position on the track to within about one to two centimeters. We also have laser ride height sensors, which will tell us how the car is moving relative to the road. Suspension sensors that will tell us how each part of the suspension is moving as the car goes through corners and accelerates on the straightaway. In addition to that, we have inertial sensors, accelerometers and gyroscopes that are telling us how the driver is getting through the corner, as well as a whole bunch of instrumentation on the driver themselves. We could also tell that you were sweating. We have connected up the drivers with a number of different physical sensors, something to test their sweat, something to test their temperature, something to test their heart rate. Your adrenaline was definitely pumping as well. In the future, we're also going to be connecting up the brain and find out what the brain is doing. All right, does that all feel like you've got full range of motion? The whole idea is at the second a car is doing something, what is the driver doing and feeling? What we want to learn from this is how the very best drivers get the most out of a car so that we can develop advanced safety systems that will help even the average driver get that sort of performance out of their car in emergency situations. One of the projects that we've been working on involves an autonomous race car, an Audi TTS that's capable of calculating its own racing line and driving at the limits of its performance. What we'd love to be able to do is to compare the performance of that car to the best human drivers. We are really studying in one way the interrelationship between man and the automobile and getting hard data about how cars handle is one way to do that. And if we can integrate all that, we'll really understand what a car and driver are as a team. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.